Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Tiffany, your independent sensi consultant from Ontario, Canada. And it has been a while since I have made a video. And believe it or not, I actually contemplated even making any this month because I'm kind of um, behind on certain things, but I wanted to share um, my hauls and the sun of the month with you guys. So we're actually gonna start off today with the June scent of the month. So we will get it out. So this month it is a peeling apple. And I'm really excited for um, this because I really love apple scents. Um, and I was actually away on course for work for about three weeks and then it's just been getting back into routine and stuff since I've been home so life has been a little hectic how are you all doing how are you all handling this pandemic that's still happening have any of you guys been vaccinated yet um being in the military it's not forced on us to get vaccinated but uh, I don't want it to have any negative effects on my career. So my vaccination date is actually coming up for my first dose, um, I think two weeks from now. So I'm excited, but I'm also nervous at the same time to get it done. I don't know. It's just, it's scary. It's a scary thing. And same with uh, COVID, it's just scary and I'm just done with it. I don't know about you, but I'm done with it. I want life to go back to normal. I miss it. <laughs> All right. So if you're new to Scentsy and new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications when I do upload videos. I don't upload them as often as I would like life, um, but I do my best to try to keep up. I know that there's some amazing consultants out there that I follow myself um, that post quite often, so you can always give them a look. So this month I opted just to get the scent of the month um, because although I like the warmer that's coming out, it didn't scream to me. If you all know me, I, I, I'm very picky choosy about the warmers that I get. And um, I did get the warmer for May, which was succulent or succulent. Um, and that one is really cute. And actually, it's sold out very quick. So I knew it would be popular. I knew that people would love it. Uh, I was lucky enough to snag one. But this month's warmer is called Chromatic. I'll just show you the photo of it. So it's really, really pretty. It lights up, very colorful, almost like a rainbow. So that's nice. I'm not a huge fan of um, glass warmers, though. I feel like they don't throw as well as like ceramic warmers. So I'm kind of old school when it comes to that. Um, here it is, not lit up. So it's really, really nice. And then we have our scent of the month, a peeling apple. I don't know why my hand is shaking. Sorry about that. All right. So we will get into the scent notes. A peeling apple. The sugary sweetness of juicy apple and lively pear are even more tempting with a touch of flowering sweet pea. So that sounds amazing. And I haven't this will be the first time I've smelled it because I have my whiff boxes right here. Um, but I, I haven't had a chance to really go through anything. I had a few hauls that will I will be showing in other videos that I kind of just combined into one box. So that way I'm not making a million videos for you guys just to catch up. All right. So I already showed it to you. A nice red wax. Let's smell it. Ooh, that's nice. So I'm a huge fan of um, Johnny Appleseed. Also a big fan of Hemingway, which is no longer available, but I do have that one in my club. Um, both apple scents. Johnny Appleseed is more just like 
an authentic apple where Hemingway, it's a different kind of apples. It's so unique to me. I just, I love it. This one is really nice. I can definitely smell pear An apple, of course. I don't get any florally notes. All right, so let's, the top notes are Earl Grey tea, hmm, pear juice, or sorry, pear and juicy apple. The mid notes, green tea, jasmine, sweet pea, and the base notes, spring crocus, white moss, and musk. I don't get musk. Maybe when it's warmed, I don't know. I just get a really sweet, fruity apple. That's nice. Mmm, that's so nice. Love it. It's a little bit, a little slimy. It's been sitting here for a while. Mmm, I'm really excited to warm this one. Really excited. And of course, it's in the fruity family. Um, what else? It's been a little while since I made these videos, so bear with me. Um, so as I said, if you are new to Scentsy, this is the scent of the month. As consultants, we get, um, the scent of the month sent to us before it's available for customers to purchase. So in our kit for our scent of the month, we get, oh, let's see if I can do this without dropping it nine bars of it and generally I make samples I have my own scenting month club for customers so they can buy a bar of it from me to try it out before it is available so if you're not a customer of mine and you want to give it a try or get a sample let me know in the comments below or you can contact me in my information uh, I have a Facebook VIP group um, I believe my email address is also available in my profile on YouTube. We also get a room spray and these are amazing in the car. I use them in the bathroom. They're really good and long lasting actually for room sprays. These, I have yet to actually use one of these up. Um, a tester so that if a customer is having a party, you can throw that in and their guests and the customer can give that a smell. And of course, stickers. So these are like uh, scratch and sniff stickers that I tend to add to my Happy Mail whenever I send that out to customers and brochures. And I will just attach my um, sample onto the brochure for the customer so that they can see what it's all about. So that is the entire kit. It's a really good deal for us consultants. Um, like I said, you get a sneak sniff of the new scents coming out. You can share it with your customers and so on. So that is a peeling apple and I really, really, really like it. I'm so glad I like it. Mmm, it just smells so like summery and fresh. It's just nice. Like not fresh, like, like fresh apple fresh with that pear hint in it. So that is really, really nice. All right. So next we're going to get into my whiff boxes. I have two here and I'm sure you've already seen them. Um, because again, I'm a little late in the game when it comes to all of this stuff, unfortunately, but I do have, um, April's whiff box and May's whiff box here. So I will just share, let's see which one is which. I'll share them with you guys because this is my first time um, opening them up. Okay, so this one would be April's whiff box. So in the whiff box, you usually get a flyer. For some reason, I've got two. I guess it was my lucky month. And a whole bunch of stuff for $40 Canadian. And generally, it's worth much more than that. So last, or sorry, I guess this month, for the month of May. Scent of the month is Plumeria Peach, which is this one. And I don't mind it. It's just a little too florally for me. A lot of people find that it's sweet, but right away I get hit with the floral scent. 
I don't know. It, it definitely has a sweet, um, fruity scent to it as well. But I just get a lot of floral. Floral with fruit. I'm trying to think if I've warmed it or not yet. I feel like I haven't warmed it yet. So I have to definitely give it a shot. Because I try not to knock it before I try it. Oh, sorry. Where are we? This month is not Plumeria Peach. This month is the Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. That went with the Succulent Warmer. This was, uh, which month are we in right now? We're in May. So this must have been April's scent of the month. So either way, the Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, I actually have warmed it. And I do really enjoy it. It's really nice. It makes a very good uh, bathroom scent, and I've, I've warmed it in my laundry room, and I think my husband actually was warming it while I was away. Yeah, it's just a nice, fresh scent. I like it. All right, what else do we got in here? We have a hand cream in Now and Zen. So I have a few of these now. They just keep coming in the whiff boxes. I'm not a huge fan of our hand creams. I find that they're just a little bit too greasy for me. Um, with my job, I actually work with, um, like diesel and gas and stuff. So I can't have a bunch of stuff on my hands because I'm wearing work gloves and then the diesel gets on my hands as well. So I do use it sometimes, but not very often. I tend to just give it away as a hostess gift or something. Ooh, and then we have a room spray in sand swept. I really like this scent. This one is nice. I tend to warm this one in my bathroom again. It's just a really nice um, bathroom scent to me. We have a Scentsy Soak in Luna, which actually I haven't used Luna in the Scentsy Soak yet, so that'll be good to try. And then we have a scent circle in lavender and cotton. So that is that whiff box. That's not too bad. Some things that I will definitely enjoy for myself and some things I will um, give away. Oh, and these little pamphlets that you get in your whiff box. They look like that. And then inside, there's usually like a craft or an activity that you can do. If you have little ones that like to do those kind of things, um, you can do that. So this one is actually daily affirmations. Cut out these affirmation cards and post them wherever you might need a little inspiration or a daily pick-me-up. Well, that's interesting. So some of them say, I deserve good things. Choose peace. I'm resilient and I choose happiness. So that's really cute. So if you are into little affirmations, then that would be awesome for you. And then on the back, it usually gives you kind of an idea of what you're going to get in the box. So this one says, sometimes we get so wrapped up in work, keeping the house in order and tending to the needs of others that we forget to take care of ourselves. Your April Whiff Box is all about self-care. The enclosed products are intended to help you relax, reduce stress, and create a spa-like environment whenever you want, because we can all use a little zen every now and then. Uh, that was a good one. All right, so, and they were true to that because it is all self-care, really nice smelling, relaxing items. All right, so that was April's Whiff Box. Whoops, sorry about that. So now we are into this month's Swift box, which is May. So this is what it looks like. Oh, and we have now moved into Mylar pouches. So I will talk about them in a second. So here's our little brochure for May's Swift box. Bring on summer. I agree. Although the weather has been very, very nice here. Um, the past few days, so I've definitely been enjoying that. So inside of this one, I don't know if you can see it, 
but it's drink tags. Cut out these adorable drink markers inspired by the 2021 Summer Collection fragrances and you'll have no problem telling drinks apart at your next dinner party or get together. I don't know about you, but I'm in lockdown still. Uh, I live in Ontario, Canada, and I feel like we've been in lockdown forever. Uh, so we won't be having any dinner parties or anything, unfortunately. Uh, my youngest one just celebrated his birthday on April 25th. I was away on course, but we had planned to have his birthday party when we got back. The lockdown was extended again, so this will be his second year of having a birthday in lockdown. So that's kind of a bummer. Luckily, he's young enough to not remember this, but it kind of sucks for us because this is my last child that I'm having. I have three, um, and I really wanted to make it special for him, but hopefully next year we can make up for the two lost years of lockdown birthdays. All right, so on the back, it says warm weather is around the corner, and while it may not feel like summer yet, it can definitely smell like it. Your May Whiff box includes a handful of our favorite new 2021 summer collection products, featuring fun new fragrances that are fruity, fresh, sweet, and sure to get you in the summer mode. Get you in summer mode. Sorry. All right. I'm really excited for this. Okay. So we have some samples. We have doo -doo -doo, pink cotton washer whiffs. I'm not a huge fan of the pink cotton uh, scent at all, so these will probably be given away. We have blue agave and melon hand soap. I love the color, it's so pretty. So that's nice. Once my hand soap that I have on the go runs out, I will definitely be starting that. We have a fragrance flower, and we all know how much I love my fragrance flowers. And this one is Fuji. I'm gonna smell it. Okay, Fuji flower. So if you've never ordered a, a fragrance flower, this is a fragrance flower. So inside of it, it comes with this little silver ring. The petal is in this box protected. Try not to put anything on the table so it doesn't shake on you. And then here's your bottle of oil. So it's it's quite full. These are not reusable, unfortunately. I, I get a lot of people asking me that if you can refill them and you can't, um, you need to order a whole new flower, which is fine because these last a long time. I've had some last me three months, easily three months, but they do say it, um, on average, it lasts 60 days, but I've definitely had it last much longer than that. All right, let's open the flower and I'll show you that. Okay, so here's the flower and it's really, really nice. And then you have the little reed here that you put into the jar Let's see if i can open this i want to smell it i did order um some of the items from the summer collection i was luckily lucky enough to grab some and i do believe everything is still available as of right now i can check in one minute so that i can update you guys correctly Bear with me. Well, that's gone. Oh, that's really nice. I really like that. Mmm. I don't know the scent notes offhand, but the Fiji flower smells really nice. So that is that. Let's just put that away for now. Okay, and then last but not least, we have our little Mylar pouch. 
So in the warmer months, Scentsy tends to ship their wax in mylar pouches, usually with ice packs. This one doesn't feel like, yeah, this one doesn't have an ice pack, but that's okay. Um, just to help keep the wax from melting. And then I tend to reuse them if they come like this, like the adhesive is still covered. So this is still perfect if a customer orders from me, I can always ship their stuff into my layer pouch and it's not gonna get destroyed. All right, so we have our June scent of the month little uh, scent cup, which is a peeling apple, which we just went over and it smells amazing. Mm hmm it really does. I definitely get pear though. Like pear is so strong in that. And then we got two bars from the uh, summer collection. So we have mandarin and mango nectar. And then we have coconut daiquiri. I'm really excited to smell this one because I absolutely love, um, I'm blanking on the name of it right now. It's another uh, coconut scent. Anyway, I love the coconut scents. Um, Coastal Sunset is one that I really, really enjoy. Uh, Pina Colada Cha Cha. That's the one. Pina Colada Cha Cha. I really like that one too. So that is that one. Really pretty. All right, let's smell it. It's a little light. That's really light. I was expecting to get like hit in the face. I'm having a hard time smelling this. I get coconut. I'm not sure. Let's look this up. Coconut daiquiri. What does everyone else think of the coconut daiquiri one? Do you find that it's a little light to you? Because, I don't know, maybe it's just my nose. I mean, I smell it, but it's not, it's not out there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking it up. Collection, summer collection. I wanted to start being a little bit more prepared for you guys. All right, so it says a tropical blend of coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream. I thought I smelled banana. Okay. It's just not very strong. It smells nice, but definitely light. And then we have the mandarin and mango nectar. So let's go to that one. Oh, while I'm in here, by the way, the only thing that I see that has sold out for the summer collection is the coconut daiquiri scent circle. And that's it. So it is all still available on the website to order. So that's nice. I'm really excited for some of my things that I ordered. I ordered the, the clean bundle too, because I love our counter cleans. I think I'm obsessed with them. All right, so mandarin and mango nectar. Oh, this one's stronger, definitely. Come on. Mm-hmm. I get peach right away. That's a nice peach. It's like a fresh peach. I can smell the nectar. The mango. All right, what does it say? A medley of juicy mandarin, mango nectar, and peach puree blend into an intoxicatingly fruity fusion. And it's nice. I really wish that coconut daiquiri was stronger. Maybe when I warm it. 
because you never know. Sometimes the bars don't give off as much scent. And then when you warm it, you're just like hit with it and just amazed. Mmm, that's nice. I'm really excited for that. Um, I believe in the summer collection, I actually ordered two of each of the bars um, to give her a try. So now I have these two to add to it. All right, so that is the May, yeah, we're in May, <laughs> the May's Whiff Box, the scent of the month for June, and then April's Whiff Box. So thank you all so much for joining me and for still following me and watching my videos and supporting me. I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.